Happy Tuesday, February 6th, I believe. Um, yeah, February 6th. So, yesterday I had a left work, had a headache from hell, literally. Um, and it just came out of the blue. I think it's, um, it was cap no, no caffeine because I didn't have any coffee or tea yesterday morning. Um, and it was my whole entire left side. So this morning I stopped for a coffee because I don't want to go through that again. Um, I wanted to go to the Zumba class, but I just couldn't, I couldn't crochet. I couldn't do anything. I actually went home and laid it down for three hours. Um, and that did help get rid of the headache. I, I sat in the dark, you know, and just went to sleep for three hours and then was up till 12 o'clock because I had slept three hours in the middle of the day. Anyway, so, um, but it's okay. <laughs> so I, I didn't do any workout. I didn't do anything. I wanted to get on the bike yesterday really bad or go to that Zumba class, but I just couldn't function. So, um, Today, hopefully, I don't get a headache. Um, I can tell you right now, tomorrow, I probably will not be working out because I'll be getting my shoveling on because it's expected to get um, a foot of snow here tomorrow. So I will be working most likely a half a day of work, which is just fucking lovely, and um, shoveling. But I don't know, you know, we'll see. Today, I'm gonna try to go upstairs and get in some of that bike stuff. I'm going to try to figure out the weights too because we have a little weight bench but we don't have the leg thing which I like to use but we do have some little arm thing. So I'm going to try to go upstairs and figure that out. But anyway, so came into an ah uh, moment yesterday when I was stressed at work because of what was going on over there. Um, you know, people just take advantage of people which I know that all the time and I I know that because I'm always willing to help people I am more likely to be taken advantage of than others but you know when you are at work and your job description is XYZ and they continue to put all of this other stuff underneath that umbrella but don't want to give you any fringe benefits or don't want to you know don't want to do any of that stuff it's kind of shitty and um, you know you kind of feel like why you know why what is it that you know what, what more do I have to give for you to start to reward me for what I'm doing okay great thank you for giving me the giving me allowing me to have this job but that thank you only goes so far because I show up every single day as I'm supposed to and I do my job as I'm supposed to so now as my employer does that mean that because you're providing me this job that you can now constantly put stuff underneath my umbrella of things that I have to do because I should feel grateful that you've given me this opportunity and this job? Or is there a point in time where you actually respect me as a human being and you actually start to compensate me accordingly for all of the additional things that you're giving? Whether it be fringe benefits or bonuses or extra pay or whatever it may be, but are you going to start appreciating me and showing me that you appreciate me? And the way you do that is not only to say thank you so much for stepping up to the plate, great job, you know, we appreciate you, but we're going to compensate you, you know, to show you that we appreciate you. Why is it that I have to ask for that compensation? You don't ask me to do these additional, um, you know, these additional requirements. You just tell me this is what you're going to do. So why is it that I have to ask for compensation? Why do I have to argue for additional compensation? Why do I have to prove myself for additional compensation when obviously I deserve it if I'm if you're constantly putting more and more stuff on my plate? Obviously I deserve that compensation. So shouldn't you just automatically give me that compensation? So with that being said, the job that I work at you know, I started out as a part-time employee um, with 
increases, you know, in the beginning, which obviously, you know, I showed that I was capable of doing the job. And, um, you know, after a year of being there, and a little bit expansion, they put me to a full-time employee, which was wonderful. Really, really appreciate it. Really, really needed it. Um, but under that, they've added tenfold of responsibilities. Um, and then it just starts to be that this this is just what I do. Um, you know, because I have, and I'm going to give you an example. Because I have a little bit of knowledge of computer and IT stuff, they take advantage of that. Um, you know, I, I've never claimed to be an expert in IT. I've never claimed to be an expert knowing networking and, and all of that. Um, I know little. Vocal, you know, like I know just the iceberg of, and not even that part. Like I know a little droplet of um, IT stuff, and it's very infuriating that every little thing that goes wrong with the website, or that goes wrong with social media, or that goes wrong with the computers or the network, or um, you know the, the the drive or you know any of that stuff they ask me and then it, you know and then it's it's actually comes to the point where they rely on me now to solely fix it and I've said millions of times I don't know anything about this stuff I am NOT an IT person like I know the bare minimum I know how to wipe out a computer yes I know how to reboot a computer I know how to install software I know how to recover a computer you know I know those those things that you need to know for your home okay uh, for your home computer I know this stuff I know how to connect my computer to the internet at home or you know how to create a home network because Windows walks you through that process. So I know how to do that. Um, I kind of sort of know how to map out a home network. Kind of, sort of. Like, you know, I'm not, like, able to, it just, you know, I, I'm not that great at it. And I don't want to be that great at it. It's not anything that I enjoy doing I really don't like doing any of that stuff but to come into my work office and know that my boss and another employee uh, co-worker was there for over an hour and knowing that there was computer issues but decided to wait until I showed up to try to fix it it's frustrating um, because I've been saying for months we need to have somebody, a professional, come in and look at this because we're constantly having to reboot our server and the modem. So, obviously there's an issue. You should not have to reboot your network at least once a week. And sometimes we're doing it three or four times a week. So I've been saying for the longest time, we need to have our internet provider, number one, come in and check out our, our, our whatever it is, modem, whatever the hell it is, because maybe it's not capable of handling the usage that we're putting out. You know, yeah, of course, maybe we have these high speeds, but when it first was installed, there was only one or two computers connected to it. Now we have four and five. We have five and two printers. So though maybe it's able to handle the speeds, maybe it's not able to handle the actual activity. Who knows? Like, I don't know. I'm not an expert. I don't know. So contact the internet provider. No, it's not done. Then we have this temporary IT people that we pay for who, I don't know, like, Call them, like tell them what is going on and ask them to help. Lo and behold, my boss actually did wind up calling them 
and they told her the same thing go to the provider and have them look at it it may not be able to handle what you're doing what the hell I've been telling you that so this is what frustrates me is because you ask me for my advice you ask me for my opinion you ask me for what I think and then when I tell you because it's not the answer you want you brush me off and you do what you want to do anyway and then now this other person this professional this person who knows what they're talking about knows what they're doing is telling you the same exact thing that I told you but you're going to take their word for it and she still didn't call the provider the internet provider just to let you know she still didn't call them whatever it is what it is so you know coming back to the thing the work thing you know there's just how much more do they put underneath your umbrella before they start to compensate you and again why do I have to wait to ask for it because you know you're just giving me these responsibilities and you're giving me this stuff and you're not um, asking me if I want them and I wouldn't say no anyway if it was something that needed to be done because I'm a team player and that's how I am you know I'm not like the type of person to be like no, I'm not doing that no I'm not that type of person you, you ask me to do something if I'm capable of doing it or if I have knowledge of doing it even if I don't have knowledge I'm gonna do research to see if I can do it I'll try to figure it out however I possibly can and then I'll try it and if I can't do it then I'll let you know no it wasn't something that I was capable of doing you know but when does that time come where I should not have to ask for that compensation a good employer a good employer is going to see the capabilities in that employee and be proactive to keep that employee because of that employee that they really appreciate they really know they need is going they are afraid that that person's going to leave somewhere else who's going to treat them better and provide them with better benefits or whatever it is than what they're currently getting a good employer is going to be proactive with treating their employee fairly so when you give me additional uh, responsibilities you're going to give me additional compensation and not only are you going to you're not going to just wait until annual review or wait for me to ask for it now the kicker here is and I'm going to go into this a little personal is I make an hourly wage I'm one of the least paid employees with the highest high one of the highest securities in the company I work for the president and the vice president of the company so I have privileged knowledge access to certain things that nobody else in the company has access to now if you take that aside put that aside we'll put that part aside if you look at what my job responsibilities are and then you compare me to what other people in the in the company are doing I do not get bonuses company does not pay my health insurance company does not provide me with a company vehicle pay for my gas pay for any insurance whatsoever so I get no perks no nothing company doesn't pay me for my cell phone nothing but yet I'm one of the least paid people and I'm the I cost the less to the company at that because you do not provide me with any of that stuff so knowing what it costs for an employee not just here I don't know what it costs for an employee here I've not dove, you know dove into those books because it's not my job um, but you know I know that insurance and all of that other stuff costs can cost anywhere from four to eight hundred dollars a month putting aside payroll okay so I'm saving you we'll go at the lower end we'll say five hundred dollars a month because you're not paying for certain things but you don't want to provide me with additional hourly compensation or any other benefits but I'm the least paid employee there one of the least paid employees there but I have such a high position in the company so if I were to take my position and my responsibilities anywhere else, I would be paid $28 to $35 an hour. In where the state that I'm living in, okay? In the state I'm living in. 
well i'm gonna leave it on that note and so you guys have a wonderful day remember what i say i really need to get my car checked out it sounds like crap um the best investment you can make is an investment in yourself what are you going to invest in you today i'm going to invest some kind of workout whether it's with the weights with the bike or with both that's what i'm investing today all health allows me to and um I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I know I haven't been posting these videos, so I will post it today while I'm in, in work. Internet wasn't working yesterday, so um, I will post it today. So thank you guys. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.